Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Photoshop for Beginners. This is Andre from psdbox.com and in today's episode we will see a practical use of the tools and the layers panel using a, an example and since I know many of you want to learn Photoshop because you want to retouch your own photos and things like that we will start with uh, basic retouching and so we will use basically the second group of tools some of them not all of them and I have here two images this is a picture that I took myself and this is a picture that I found on the internet and we will use some of the tools uh, and I will show you how to clean an image using this uh, tools here remember that if you want to have the same configuration as I have here uh, with the layers, the history and the navigator and stuff like that I already made a video showing you how to customize your workspace and I'll put the link uh, on the video description or on the video itself so you can watch that video if you want to you can download these images if you want to follow along we will start using the spot healing brush tool and what I want to do is clean all the spots here as you can see uh, all these imperfections on the skin and all these dark spots and for that we will use the spot healing brush tool you can also use the healing brush tool if you want to but the spot healing brush tool works uh, really good for this kind of small imperfections right now I could start painting over these uh, spots and start covering them but instead of doing that I will create a new layer which I will call clean so that I know this is where I have all my cleaning the reason why I created this new layer is because I want to have all the retouching that I do uh, to go on this layers and that's because I don't want to affect the original image I, I always want to have the original there and all the retouching on separate layers just in case I I do something wrong I can simply delete that layer and start over again and not having to open the image again and things like that so select the spot healing brush and make sure you activate this option which says sample all layers and that way you will sample from the layer below which is the background layer and all the retouching will will be will go on this uh, new layer that we created also make sure you select content aware if you're using CS4 or CS5 uh, if not proximity match uh, works uh, just as well so I will select the clean layer and adjust my brush size to more or less the same to have it on the same size as the imperfections the hardness somewhere in around 20% works uh, well and the spacing to 25% is okay and all you have to do is just start painting over these uh, small spots and you will cover them it's the easiest tool to work with the only thing you have to uh, to be careful is when you're close to the edges because this tool will sample from uh, areas that are around the area where you click so if for example if you click here and and paint you will see that uh, it will start mixing the colors and it's not good so you have to be careful when you're close to the edges and it's just as simple as clicking and painting over over the spots and here as well so I guess you already got the idea and watch what happens if I deactivate the background layer you see all the spots here these are all the spots that I painted and they are now on the new layer on the clean layer and if I deactivate the clean layer you will see that the background layer which is the original is untouched and that's exactly what I want the other tool that we have here which is similar is the healing brush tool and they work exactly the same in this case you also have the same options here plus two more current and below and the current layer uh, I will choose all layers but in this case if you just click you will get an error which uh, asks you to press and hold the alt key to select an area to select where you want to sample from so if I want to cover this little spot here first I have to press the alt key and uh, the cursor changes and click on an area that is close to the 
to the point that I want to to cover and click once to sample and now I can paint over it and you'll you can see that it's a different um, that this one is brighter but when I will let go Photoshop will adjust contrast to match the area that I painted so Photoshop it's uh, pretty good at matching that but don't rely too much on that for example if you want to cover this shadow here you could use the spot brush but the healing brush will will work better because you have the option to sample so I want to sample from here and just start painting over it and when I let go I still have that line here but I can sample again and do the same and it worked uh, pretty pretty cool now let's cover this uh, little wrinkle here and again sample from an area nearby paint over it and it's gone okay it looks weird without that wrinkle there but I just wanted to show you how to cover a bigger area if I deactivate it now you can see everything that we did it's on the separate layer the more time you spend the better will be the result because of course there are a lot of things you can fix uh, if you look carefully but okay I think you already got the idea of how to use these two tools let's apply some some adjustment layers remember that adjustment layers are located here on this icon here so I click here and the first thing I want to do is increase the contrast a bit so instead of using brightness and contrast I never use these two ones because well for beginners I think it it works well but let's do something else we will use levels instead and this adjustment layer since it's above the these two layers will affect everything so what we see here is a small histogram on the left side we have the shadows and on the right side we have the highlight and here in the middle are the midtones and what I want to do is increase the highlights a bit and also the the midtones like that and just like that okay now let's see how it looks before and after before and after maybe less midtones and more highlights and I think it looks better now these adjustment layers will affect everything that is uh, below them so if I drag this adjustment layer between the clean and the background layer watch what happens it only affects the background layer and this clean layer which has all the retouching that we did is not affected and they are uh, it's darker than it's not affected by the levels okay let's add another adjustment layer in this case I will use color balance and I will make something a bit more extreme so that you can see so that you can see it better first I will select shadows and what you do with this adjustment layer is shift the colors have the three colors here RGB and you can shift the colors uh, based on the three channels shadow midtones and highlights and let's select shadows add more blue on the shadows greens will leave it at zero add more cyan now on the midtones we'll add more red and a bit more blue and on the highlights more red oh, not so much and a bit more of yellow and now the contrast is, is too high but this is the before and after let's reduce the contrast a bit too much highlights okay this one looks better so before and after and if you remember we have the original untouched so what you can do with this for example is you can select all of them and group them and you can call this group retouch and if you want to see the before and the original and the retouched version all you have to do is uh, disable and enable this group and you will see the original and the retouched version original 
so it's as simple as that and of course you can now make any adjustments that you want to this so you can increase contrast you can make it however you want you can add more adjustment layers if you want for example you can add a photo filter and make it I don't know colder like that reduce the density You can also add hue saturation and increase the saturation a bit if you want to. Like that. And let's see the before and after again. Before and after. So with just a few retouches uh, you can see that we, we've we made this uh, image look better already. Of course you can do a lot more things to this but for now it's enough. Let's go to the second image. Okay, let's see what we can do to this other image. We have these hoses here, which I don't like, and also this number here, which I want to remove. Using the spot healing and the healing brush tool will not work because these are bigger areas and these tools only work for small imperfections like, like we did on the first image. And so we will use the patch tool for that. The disadvantage of using this tool is that we cannot, we don't have that option to sample from all layers. So what we have to do is to work on the original. And for that I will create a duplicate of this background layer. And in order to do that you can press Ctrl J or click and drag the background to the, to the new layer icon and you will create a, a duplicate of the background. The patch tool is also really easy to use. Once you select it, you first select source and just select the things that you want to, to remove, in this case this this plate here, and just click on it, drag it over an empty area, and let go. And you see that we covered that. We still have some uh, some light problems here, but we can fix that. Just select again and drag over an empty area and the number is gone it's as simple as that let's do the same with this hoses here so select the hoses click and drag let go to close the selection and just drag it to a new area and let go and it's gone. If you still see some lines here from the borders of the selection you can just select smaller areas and do the same again. Also make sure you don't have for example like you'll see this uh, same texture here you can you can clean that with the healing brush tool for example sample from a place and paint over it and also this one here so you, it actually clones the texture but you can cover that and now nobody can tell that uh, there was something here you can do the same uh, to this one over to this uh, plate here but in this case if you want to make a precise selection you can use the marquee tool select this and then with the selection active go down and select the patch tool and now you can click over the selection and drag it down and you got it and of course we can still see those duplicate that duplicated texture there we can use the healing brush tool to cover it and and there you have it